Hey everyone, Mr. Sugiano here, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to download and install Fightcade. For those of you who don't know what Fightcade is, it is basically in a nutshell an online matchmaking service for old arcade games, fighting games in particular. So let's get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to HTTPS www.fightcade.com and I'll post the links to everything in the description. So once you're here there are two things that you need to do. First is register. Select a username, select a password, enter your email. You will need these to log into the Fightcade service. Once you've done that you're going to want to download the program. So the beauty of this is it works on three different operating systems, Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. For the purposes of this video, I'm running Windows, so I'm going to download it for Windows. And it is a total of 23 megabytes. So once you've downloaded Fightcade, it should be a zip file from here, extract the contents into a folder. In this case, I have placed a folder on my desktop and named it FC. So I'm just going to extract it into there. So once Fightcade has downloaded and extracted, the next step is to put the games in a folder for Fightcade to access. The Fightcade application itself does not include the arcade games. Those are separate. There are two different ways to get them. First and foremost, use your own personal arcade games. Or secondly, find them online. There are three sites that host these games. First is emmyparadise.me. Second is fightnvidia.com slash games. And third is archive.org slash download slash fightcade roms. I will leave these links in the video description. Also as a note, you will need BIOS files for certain games. For example, here you can see required for Neo Geo games, required for Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and Breaker's Revenge. So if you'd like to play any of those games, you will need the BIOS files, which are conveniently located right here, or if you have your own personal BIOS files. All right, and now for the purposes of this video, I'm going to put some BIOS files as well as ROM files that I currently have on my computer into the ROM folder on Fightcade. So you can see here, Samurai Showdown, Street Fighter Alpha 3, Street Fighter Third Strike, and so forth. So the next step to do is to open up Fightcade. At this point, you will enter your username and password. For me, it's already saved because I already have Fightcade on my computer. Now when it starts up, it'll have the games that you have installed highlighted in white on the left side. So if you put a game in the, in the ROM folder and it's not showing up, then there are two things that might be an issue. First and foremost, there might be an issue with your ROM file. Or secondly, you might not have selected locate ROMs folder. So what you want to do is go to settings, locate ROMs folder, and locate that very folder that you just put the ROMs in. Also a word of advice, in the ROMs folder you do not want to 
extract the zip files. Just leave them full. For example, you can see here, there's a bunch of different files inside the zip file. So just leave both the ROM files and the BIOS files in this ROM folder zipped. So once you've done that, these should show up as white. If not, there might be an issue with your ROM file or you just might need to restart Fightcade. To play a game, all you have to do is go into one of the lobbies of your game. And as you can see here in this Samurai Showdown lobby, you can type, talk to people. You can challenge people by double clicking someone's name. And to play the game on your own, you just hit backslash and play. And that will launch the game. Word of advice, go to your volume mixer right away and manually turn down Fightcade because it might be loud. And that'll show up as just a little gamepad here. Now within Fightcade, you can change your controls by going into game, mapping game inputs. You can also, once you're done mapping your game inputs, go down and click save input mapping now so you don't have to map them each time. You will have to map individual inputs for each game you play. So for example, if I went from Samurai Showdown to Street Fighter Alpha 3, I will have to redo inputs for specifically for Street Fighter Alpha 3. My inputs from Samurai Showdown will not carry over to Street Fighter Alpha 3. So now I'm going to go into the Street Fighter 2 lobby. So now here I am in the Street Fighter 2 lobby. I can wait for someone to challenge me. Someone just challenged me and canceled the challenge. And at this point, I can click accept or decline. Or I can challenge someone by double clicking their name. So for example, here, I will challenge this guy here, Swole T. I'll double click his name and the game should boot up once he accepts. If he does not accept, it'll just show challenging and then I can cancel it and challenge someone else. So does it... Oh, he's just challenged me. Set the challenge. Oh, thanks Windows Firewall. Go back into the game, and here we go. And you can even type to them. And that's all I've got today. Thanks everyone for joining.